I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R440 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on racking your 440. Let's get going. Well hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R440 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. Alright, let's hop in. Uh, this server, or this video is going to be uh, specifically focused on how to put your server into the rack, um, and specifically your R440. So one of the things I wanted to point out before we actually show you the installation process is that the rail kits for the 440 are the A11 type, and they are not the same type that you will see with say the 640 or the um, 630 for that matter or the 430 which the 430, 630 and um, the uh, 640 actually all use the same rail kits so a lot of people will lump them in with uh, the with those rail kits, but they're not. Um, so they're their own standalone. They're A11. Um, it's an easy mistake to make. So it's one of the things I always like to point out before we hop in that don't think you can just go buy some 640 rail kits, throw them on, and they're going to work. They're not going to line up, and then you're going to run into an issue, and then you're going to pay for remote hands, or you're going to waste your text time. So just something to note before you go into it. So now we'll show you actually how to install them. All right, so we're going to show you how to put these in. So we are going to start with our left rail kit. So you want the uh, sticker that says left. You're going to face it up and to the side like this. Uh, Angel, let's do number eight. I like to do the uh, the back first and then do the front. Just makes it a little bit easier. So go ahead and knock an eight. So one of the keys that's different about the um, 440 rail kits is a lot of times there'll be two points that are on the outside that clip in here. Instead, it's actually going to clip in from the inside here, which I'll say it like this. So there'll be two points. So there's a clip right here that we're going to actually move back. And it might be a little hard to see on camera, but we're going to move this right here back. And then we're going to take the two clips and then do it again on the inside. So right here, it's going to go around it, and then we are going to clip this in, and it's firmly locked into place. So again, I was trying to do it on the, on the outside so you guys can see it, but again, there's two pegs that come from the inside and this little clip right here. And if I wanted to remove it, the same thing, you'd take this clip off, and now I can push it back in. So just like that, that's how it would lock into place. So we'll go ahead and do the right one now. All right, so now we're going to do the right rail kit, or the right side of the rail kit. So you'll notice it's going to say uh, right. You're going to have right facing the proper way up. So we're going to go ahead and do number eight again, Angel. So notice we're doing the back first. Same thing we did. And then we are going to, again, move this clip right here. We're going to pull it to the side. We're going to line it up into the U8 and then just lock it into place. And you'll notice that when I try to actually move the rail kit, it is firmly locked into place. And now we'll show you how to use the inners. All right, so now we're going to show you how to use the inners. So they're just going to slide right out. Once it gets to the point where the first inner stops, the second inner will start to slide. And then it will lock into place. So you'll notice if I try to push back right now, the inner is actually fully locked in. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull this center out. And again, once it gets locked into place, we're good to actually set our server in. And you'll notice on the inners, there's these uh, notches right here that are carved out. We're going to uh, show you some rivets on the side of the server here. Angel, we show them real quick. Right here, there's these four rivets. We like to start with the back ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to line these up with the back holes. Oops. Got yours lined up. And then pretty much like almost like a hinge, we're just going to come straight down and make sure that our rail is lined up and that all the rivets get in. And they'll just click into place like you just heard over there. All right, so now that we have our server physically into the rails, how do we get it back into the rack? Because it's locked into place. You can see we can't push it. So what you need to do, there's some blue clips on the side. And honestly, it's a little bit easier if there's one person just standing in front of it, but I don't want to block the camera. Um, so the two of us are going to push this on the side right here. There's a blue clip. Just going to push it forward this direction. So go ahead and slide just forward. And then once you do that, it just slides into place. So now, if you try to pull it out, it's actually locked into place. So someone might run into this issue, well, how do I get it out of the rack? Well, right here, you're just going to push this up, or lift this up. You can push it right here technically and lift this up, and then now you can come out of the rack. So again, I'll show you that one more time. You can lift, the, push right here and lift this up, and 
now it comes out of the rack. So that is how you rack your R440 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs business. We do new, we do use, and we would love to quote you. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys.